Hashtag sup PMS. Mm-hmm. Sup. We uh, put that out on the internet this morning. Ty went through, picked out five questions that people on the Twitter had for us. We use your question. You'll get some merch. The boys will follow you and get your information to be able to send it to you. Let's go to the first hashtag sup PMS tweet. This comes from JB at JB underscore F1 USA. Big Formula One fan. Yeah. Huge. Oh, yeah. Hey. Ricardo, Daniel Ricardo. Oh, yeah. uh, this guy watched the documentary three times. That's wow. right. Oh. Yeah, JB loves him some Formula One. Hashtag sup PMS. AJ Pat did traveling to an away stadium and seeing a lot of away fans pump you up more. As a Bolts fan, can't help but notice away teams with a ton of energy with fans at SoFi. Is this a huge disadvantage for the Bolts? They should pack up and go to St. Louis. Oh. <laughs> Formula One JB says, go on back to St. Louis. Get out of town. Uh, you, you, you move from San Diego, no Nobody likes you here except for the away fans. I actually enjoyed away games personally because I enjoy banter and shit talk. It also kind of gets you away from everything. It's just you kind of against the world. Now, stats will tell you that home field advantage is something, and it is real, and it is nice just to be able to go home and stay in the city the day before without having to travel. But I enjoyed away games myself. AJ, how about you? I absolutely enjoyed away games. And the coaches always tell us before you go, okay, it's just us. We don't, it's us and those guys on the sidelines now. Your, your away teams, like I'm sure the Colts fans travel well, the Packers fans travel well, but still there's like a section usually of the stadium where they are. But the majority, especially if you're facing a good team, is going to be the home team. And I think when they're pumped, when the home team is crazy and their fans are yelling and they're going crazy on you, like it juices up the away team absolutely. But the only problem is if you let them get that momentum, sometimes it's tough to get back when you're in a, a place like Seattle or Kansas City, any of the great places. Yeah, the macaque gets rolling down. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. right. I mean, it gets rolling at a, a at a buzzsaw rate or whatever. And Colts fans did travel. I don't remember thinking like, oh, yeah, this is like a home game somewhere else. Packers fans, though, travel, right? Like mm-hmm. it is. There's Big some time, places yeah. that get taken over. Same with like Steelers fans and Bills fans. And uh, do Patriots fans? Oh, yeah. Patriots fans as well. There's some fan bases that travel well. You were a part of that. That had to feel pretty good, I think. It was awesome, especially when you go out for warm-ups a lot of times where the home fans weren't all in there. A lot of times, though, the Packer fans that traveled, they were there. So we'd go to warm-ups sometimes. And, you know, Aaron starts – if he acknowledges some of them, then the whole place starts getting going. Like I think they've done a few – I've been in some away stadiums where they're doing the Go Pack Go chants. I forget. Um, we were playing Cincinnati night game uh, when I was at West Virginia. And I think our fans traveled really well. Like, it, it was uh, a lot of West Virginia fans. And at Cincinnati at the time, your locker room was basically, like, you could hear what was going on out there. And Rich Rod gave an entire speech about our fans have already kicked their fans' fucking asses. Listen to them out there. <laughs> and it was like some country roads was being sung Damn. before the thing or whatever. It is. It's a pretty cool thing when it's like we are all traveling and invading your city almost. You it's know? fun. It's, it does feel like, obviously, winning at home is awesome. Your home crowd, everything. But there's something about winning on the road that's all you have. So you, when you're walking to the locker room with your team, like your coaches, there, there's something special. Like there's something extra about it that I feel like, all right, yeah, we did this. This is something that they didn't think we could do. And then that flight ride home. Oh. Yep, exactly. It used to be. I don't know what it is now. I hope. Do they, let, do they yeah. let their body gurus on the plane on the wide ho- ride home, you think? Well, that's what I'm saying. And nowadays, and I'm not going to out anybody, so I heard this happen on other teams. Hell yeah. The other teams I heard this happen. Mm-hmm. Like the flight attendants were the ones going and getting the shit for you. Oh, man. So that like, you know, it wasn't necessarily being checked, you know, in different ways. Because they're allowed a certain amount of liquor on each plane due to F whatever it is. Yeah. So instead of doing that, hey, maybe you could get, not at our team, obviously. This is other teams I've heard this happens. So maybe you can barter with a flight attendant. Hey, hey, we're potentially going to need, especially if the game's looking good, a couple of these, a couple of these. Is that a possible? Yeah, boom, bang, bang. How you doing? Keep it moving. I've heard that happen too at other places, where, but I've also heard that there's been flight attendants that got fired because of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's why I'm saying uh, it definitely it didn't happen at the Colts because of that, but I'm saying yeah. other places I, I heard that was the case. Yeah, some people weren't on flights anymore after being on flights for like 10 years. So it was like, well, <sighs> what happened? Uh, Where'd go? Not at our place, obviously, at another place. Other places, yeah. Like uh, something happened. They were, they had something. I'm like, well, what did they have over there? Because I probably asked somebody to do something similar mm-hmm. here on this team. Trying Not that it was our team. Fifteen bottles of Grey Goose onto the plane. Unfortunately. Oh my God! Was it the cartoon sized ones or the little ones? Because <laughs> if you get the cartoon sized ones, you only need one of those things to kind of slip in. But if it's the little ones, you need a lot of them, and yeah. they kind of rattle. <laughs> You know, just something to think about. Hey, ask me if you want any help on your team, by the way, not our team. Yes. Because you can wrap like you know um, warm ups. 
in oh, a good way. Go. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. I get that all, you know, figured out on other teams. I've heard they used to put, I, I think I've told you back in the day, they used to put three beers on each seat, like in a little brown paper bag for everyone. I heard those days were awesome, by the way. I heard those were the days that not on the Colts, but on other teams I've heard legitimately in this one, like people go around with like painkillers almost. Like it, that's like the legendary story is like, okay, hey, they walk down the aisle. Hey, what do you need? What do you and they're throwing paint? I can't imagine. I, yeah. That people say that definitely happened. People did. Say, I've never witnessed it, but people yeah. said that that used to happen at some point in the NFL. It was like, <laughs> hey, you need one. Boom. Who needs it? You need a muscle. Boom. Right. Hey, yo, bang. <laughs> Who's buying hey what do you got an ankle? Ah, here's something for your whole fucking body. Boom. Bang. Yeah. I heard that's what it used to be like. I never experienced that. Legit. No, shoot. I definitely didn't experience that. Me neither. But I, I, I was like, God damn, there had to be people just collecting those. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's insane. insane. Let me put a couple in here. And you watch something like Dope Sick, and it's like, oh boy. Oh, be that's, careful. Yeah, that was happening all over the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we could get into it, and we're the people that should, but <laughs> Big Pharma. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. 